Yo, what's good, world? It's your boy, Kazi. Four letters, 919, definitely in the building. Carolina in the building all day. Uh, shouts out to everybody. Riley Durham, Chapel Hill, Richlands, the whole fam. You know we in here. Dale City, what up? I'm going to just get to the right to the point, man. Um, a lot of talk from the sideline, the main line, the Twitter, and everywhere about what's going on between Josie and Ninth and what's going on in the scene and North Carolina and how I'm involved in that and the speculation and all that. Let's just, just get it out there. I'm making comments and people are taking lines. I, I just want to go out right off the gate and say we share a lot of mutual friends and I'm not, me personally, I'm not asking anybody to pick a side. I, I'm going to just tell y'all where I'm coming from with the shit, then y'all evaluate y'all opinion after that, all right? That's it. I'm going to just put it out there, let the truth Tell the truth, shame the devil. I ain't got nothing to hide. I ain't worried about nobody saying nothing to me, blackballing, nothing, nothing like that, doing nothing to nobody. This is just about really something that has nothing to do with music at all, okay? When I came back, if you're familiar, I came back um, from winning a competition that put gave me 50 grand and a single deal with Steve Rift. So when I come home, I got on my grind, did my mixtapes with Who Kid, video, did my mixtape with Who Kid, did the videos, was doing shows, Fab, Ghostface, you name it. I was on my grind. When did a show with 50 and Luda in Detroit, like, I've been on my grind, all right? The resume is on the Twitter. I ain't getting into that. I come back, and I holler at night, okay? Which I've known for years. Just let the record clear. I've known this man three, four years before Lil Brother had a deal. Okay, so this ain't about that either. All right, we go way, way back. I call him, and I'm it's, it's like, yo, I got the deal, the situation. You see what's going on? Got 50 grand. I'm in a situation with Rifkin. Why don't we do a joint venture between Jam La and what I'm doing, which was SOTC at the time, Sound of the Culture, still is. Why don't we do a joint venture me and you together Really put North Carolina on the, You know, the OGs You know what I'm saying And go up here and holler at Rifkin And we can work something out We can figure something out, okay He thought that that was a good idea Didn't commit to me, you know what I'm saying But thought it was a good idea Send me your press kit, we'll follow up I'm gonna present it to my business partners We'll keep it moving Cool We correspond once or twice more After that, I don't hear from him For like a week then two weeks go by. I just randomly text him a call. And I'm not stalking, stalking him at all. Just hit him up. Four or five months go by and I haven't talked to him. Okay? So I'm like, yo, that's fine. I'm not taking that person. Okay? I got my own shit I'm doing. I'm like, yo, maybe he changed his mind. Something happened. That's business. I'm fine with that. Okay? That's cool. I was back on my grind. Like, oh, well, he didn't want to do it. Maybe he didn't know how to say that to me. He didn't want to do it. I'll keep it moving. Like five months go by, six months go by. All of a sudden, out of the blue one day, I wake up and I got a message from Ninth Wonder on my Twitter, on my Facebook, on my phone. Every way that you could holler at me, he hollered at me. Like, Kazi, call me, please. Hit me up, please. I have, Now, mind you, last time I talked to him, we was talking about a joint business venture that he didn't respond to me about after, like, months. Probably, like, five. I'm going to speculate, say it was, like, four or five months since I talked to him. I'm like, damn, I ain't blowing me up on all my formats, what's up? When I call him back, he calling me talking about, Kazi, what's up? These cats out here talking crazy on the Facebook, talking crazy in the street, talking about they gonna rob me, they gonna do this to me, they gonna do that to me, I'm a man, I can't, you know, blah, 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 they gonna, cats talking crazy to me, like they was gonna rob him. And I had heard it too. I had heard it all in the street, you know what I mean? Cats was talking about it on, on certain levels that, they were singing his shit, and then they were going to see him, okay? I was like, yo, I ain't talked to this man in like five months, and he just okie doke like, he didn't even pretend we didn't have that combo, but like, once again, I said, that's business, I'm fine. If he don't want to work with me on that level, that's cool. But now he calling me as a friend, like, niggas is out here about to rob me, will you, you know, can you help me? Real shit. Ain't called me for nothing else, but called me for this. And I was like, you know what? Blessed are the peacemakers. I, right, yo, I'm going to call one person from every clique in Raleigh, Durham, and we're going to get up and meet. We're going to squash this out because I don't want to see it go down like that. You my man. 
these is my peoples because I, I actually be out here and it, you know what I'm saying? So I know everybody. Cats is familiar with me just from my grind being out here. That's it. I ain't the street dude. I ain't the dude with the choppers on deck, nothing like that. But I be out here. Josie know I be out here. Everybody know I be out here. That's where the respect come from, okay? So I tell them I'm going to have a meet. You know, we'll set up a meet. Me and you, I will call everybody, bring them in, Facebook them, bring them in. You know, try to get everybody to come and, and, and let's just talk this out. Let's squash it, all right? We have a meeting. It ain't it ain't no publicity stunt. I ain't put out no flyers. I ain't even let nobody know we was doing it. Okay, I just hit them on the Facebook and said, "Yo, this ain't a promotion. Ain't no flyers for it. Ain't no promote. Like, let's just meet up and talk." We met at a barber shop in Durham, seven that night. You know, shout out to my boy Darian that helped me set that up. You know what I'm saying? Night came. We talked for three hours. Him and niggas that actually did want to rob or or do something to him. You know what I'm saying? And you know, salute to y'all for actually coming. When Cats was telling me we shouldn't even fuck with this to start with, and I was like, you know what, let's just iron it out. Cats came anyway, we talked. I was like, ninth, we good, we good. All right, we rock solid. Everybody left away from that meet and like, yo, we 100, we good. I hit him up, text him on some video boombox shit. You know, the show that I got popping, I've been hitting him for the last couple weeks on that because I've been putting his artists on my TV show, on me and my team TV show. That's, you know what I mean? So I'm texting him, yo, Remo's in the episode, Rhapsody's in the episode, nothing. I don't get nothing back. Not even a okay, cool, thanks, nothing. But, I tell you, but once again, that's business. I, I don't take that person. Keep it moving. I'm like, he busy. He a busy man. He'll holler at me when he holler at me. I have no problem with that. Fast forward to about two weeks ago. We have a show in Raleigh, me, uh, Gene Gray, Rhapsody, Azon Blaze, all right? I'm like, cool, we all in the building that night. It is what it is. When they come in, Rhapsody say what up. When I act proof, say what up. Sean Bug hollered at me. A couple other cats was like, you know, gave me the head nod. What's good? Just an acknowledgement that, yo, we all in the building together. That's it. I don't need nobody cater me, no dap, walk over to me and bow down or nothing. I'm just like a, you know, what up? Everybody say what up. That's it. Ninth walk in, doesn't say nothing. Once again, I'm like, you know, he ain't see me or uh, whatever. He busy. He got something in his mind. It is what it is. They on stage like, yo, we about to bring Kazi up. Ninth standing, mind you, right by the stage now. And they like, we about to bring Kazi up. Whatever. I go to walk up the stage. I look at him to speak. Looks like you would look at any nigga to speak. I looked at him to speak. Didn't say nothing. Once again, I'm like, mm, all right, is what it is. Last time I talked to you, you was calling me when somebody's about to rob you, but okay, you're not speaking today. All right, whatever. I go up, do my set, do my 20, 30 minutes, rock the shit. Rhapsody's up next. She's standing there. Ninth is standing right on deck. He about the DJ. I come down the steps again. Look at him to speak, just like you look at somebody to speak, to acknowledge them. And he kind of got the, the, you know, like, when a nigga looking at you, but he ain't looking at you. And and I was like, okay, he not speaking to me tonight, whatever. Like, I'm a girlfriend or some shit. He's not speaking to me tonight. I was like, okay, he, he obviously somewhere has me fucked up. But I'm not going to trip off of that. Once again, I'm going to keep it moving, all right? If he not speaking to me, I don't have nothing to talk to him about. A week later, the Josie video comes out. Josie Mo video comes out. All right, Josie came up to the spread, asked me to do a cameo in it. I did it. You know what I'm saying? That's my man. I ain't frying on him. If you don't know Joe Rank in the North Carolina music scene, you need to do your research on that. Far from a wanna be down ass nigga. One of the realest street niggas in North Carolina. All right, real talk. Check Welcome to Durham, whatever resume you wanna check. And as an artist, was buzzing as hard as any other artist that you've ever seen from come from Carolina, especially from this area. Trust me. So that man was doing his own thing when they got at him, okay? Just let's clear that up, number one. So, after that show where this nigga does not speak to me, this is like two weeks ago, and the time before that, he was calling me to help him from getting robbed, okay? Josie video comes out. My phone starts blowing up. Ninth wonder. Guess that meeting didn't work. Question mark. What's up? You're not getting my text? Holla at me. Holla at me. 
holler at me. Darian calls me. Ninth wants you to holler at him. Somebody else. Ninth wants you to holler at him. Ninth wants you to holler at him. At this point, I'm like, what? Why does Ninth want me to holler at him? Oh, his ass is in trouble. Josie done put out a video. You know what I'm saying? Clowning him. That's when the Steam video came out. Now, he feeling like he need to call me now. Now you calling me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just saw you. You didn't have shit to say to me in public. You feel what I'm saying? I just walked by you. You didn't have shit to say to me in public. Now you calling me. After like two, three days, I call him. Like, and then he calls me back. I'm like, what's up, man? He said, yo, the meeting didn't work. I guess the meeting didn't work. I said, bro, I don't think this is about the meeting not working. I think this is about something personal between you and Joe. And really how you treat cats in general out here. What you mean? Why you in this? I said, yo, fam, before... We even get into that. Didn't I just see your ass two weeks ago and you didn't have shit to say to me? Didn't I just see you two weeks ago and you didn't have shit to say to me? And then the time you talked to me before that was when niggas was trying to rob you and you was calling me to help set up a meeting. Now you calling me because your ass is in trouble. You don't call me when you're doing them albums. You don't call me when you're doing the movies. You don't call me for none of that other shit. But whenever niggas is at you, then you call me. You obviously got me messed up. You got me messed up somewhere. And that's what I was letting him know. Like, you can't have it both ways with me. You're not gonna play Ninth Wonder in public. Like, you can't speak to niggas. But then as soon as you get in trouble and you get home, you call me on the phone. Oh, that's not real. That's not real. It ain't about nobody putting nobody on or nothing like that. That's just being a fake ass individual. That's it. Like the level I know you on, I'm sitting here telling him like, you can't have it with me both ways, bro. You know what I'm saying? Where you don't speak to a nigga in public, but then every time you get in trouble, you call me. He didn't proceed to tell me. He's not worried about me talking tough to him. He ain't worried about nothing I'm saying to him or what I'm going to do to him. He's from Winston Salem, North Carolina. That's a, I'm from Winston Salem, North Carolina. I got people I can call. I got goons. We all got people we can call. I started laughing. I said, "Bro, you call you 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 coming at the wrong cat with that. You need to call Josie, man. That's the nigga that's at your neck. That's the cat trying to rip your head off." I wasn't gonna say shit, but you obviously got me. As one of your bitches. And ain't no free beats. Worth being no man bitch. That's it. That's it. So when he came at me crazy like that. Told me he had goons on deck. And that I, I got people I can call. And I ain't worried about shit you gonna do to me. And, I, 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 and all of that. Mr. Educate. Inspire him. And all of that. Coming at me like that. Next time I talked to Joe. I was like yo. He said he got people he can call. He ain't worried about nobody doing nothing, 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 nothing. He worried about me talking to him crazy. He got the people he can call and da 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 and goons down. Like, we, we, yo. I let Joe know that. That's it. I ain't got the choppers on deck. I'm going to go back to doing my music like I've been doing it. That's all. When he sees me in public, it's the ninth wonder persona. But every time his ass is in trouble, I'm who your favorite producer calls, all right? For advice, for, yo, help me, what should I do, who should I talk to, I'm the nigga that he called. But we get in public, I'm not going to speak because you're not on my level. That's the persona. That's where he got me messed up. So when you see me, or now that's what I was like, I wasn't going to say shit. But now that you mention it, yo, Josie, you right. Josie's right. And Carolina, y'all know. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm not asking for a, a campaign against Ninth Wonder. I'm just letting y'all know that this dude got me fucked up and he ain't shit. I'm not worried about him not talking to me. I'm not worried about no black ball. Nothing. Because I've been putting myself on for years, man. Just check my resume on my Twitter, bro. That's all I'm going to say. But you're not going to play me one way and then every time your ass is in trouble... Call me for help, all right? Because I'm a true friend of my niggas that I'm friends to and the people that I'm, I'm friends with and cool with. You know what I'm saying? 
Josie's his own man, all right? He gonna do what he wanna do. I don't have no control over what he do anyway. But I am a respected person in this hip-hop shit in North Carolina, if nowhere else. And yeah, that's two friends on both sides of me that I thought, that one person I thought was a friend. Josie always keeping one with me. You play me when it's convenient, and then you want to call me for help. On top of the fact that you the main person that shits on North Carolina artists harder than anybody out here. So to portray and put out there like this is some type of ploy, a scam, a scheme, nah. This ain't none of that. I just want to clarify what it is. Y'all holla at me, man. If y'all want to know how I know Ninth Wonder, I met Ninth Wonder battling Fonte in the parking lot at Nappy Love. Nigga called me 9 o'clock the next morning, like, come down, get some beats. I got some beats from him. When I when I had a TV show that was on in 113 cities on NBC that we was doing out the hill, I took his beats to my boss. We were going to use them on a the show. They didn't want to pay for them. I took $200 out of my check. I told them, I said, yo, this is the next Pete Rock Primo. Y'all bugging. I go back to him. Yo, they didn't want to pay you. I'm going to give you, I know you hot, I know you going to blow. Here's $200 just for letting us use it. Took right out of my check, and I wasn't even making all that, bro. But I knew. I was like, yo, here's $200, man. I know it was fucked up, but I know you hot, we're going to use that. He proceeds to tell me, bro, you the first cat to ever pay me for a beat. So you good for life. I was like, yo, fam, it ain't all that, whatever. You my nigga, we trying to build this level, this relationship. That's the level I know him on. You know what I'm saying? That's three years before they got on. Real shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That was square one with me with him. So, like, this, I want to be down. Like, I'm bitter. I got something to promote or anything like that. Nah. This is about somebody who got me very fucked 